Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is the Bringing Back Basic Gray collaboration. And what we're doing is we're bringing back the basic gray paper out of our stash because they only make fabric now. So you can't buy this paper except for maybe eBay or something like that. This is a collaboration with Bourbon Creek Crafts here on YouTube, but she might be taking this month off and Stampin' Cat on Instagram, and the links are down below. What I did for this month was I had two piles of paper that I had sorted. If you watch my channel, you might have seen that they were in my pile of, I'm gonna work on that. I wanted to make fall journals, gratitude journals with them. So one of them is sort of like 70s, green, yellow, brown, maybe not my favorite, right? You have to, as you start a journal, forgive it if you don't love the papers and just imagine them all decorated and wonderful. Like, I think this is actually gonna be cute when it's done. And then this one, you know how I love blue. This one has some blue in it. And I didn't sew these together yet. I'll tell you at the end why and what I'm thinking on that. But I sort of laid out like here, I got some ink right here. So I did the pocket here different than I would have. I was gonna do a vertical. And I did some stamping down the page. So I've got it to the point where I think I'm ready to sew it together, but I don't want to yet. So I'll just flip through so you can kind of see the color palette that we have in each one, totally different. So what I did was I have a bin for each of the scraps and stuff I would put in it. And when I work on them, I may use fall embellishments and sentiments on both, but I'm not going to be mixing and matching the scraps from them. I'll keep them pretty, you know, matchy-matchy in their color families. And basic gray was grungy and had really complex patterns, especially for back then. You know, there were a lot of cutesy papers with repeating things, not so much the mixed media look. I love this one. And this was something else that I just kind of mixed in. And they just, they were more complex than most of the patterns and papers at the time. Uh, I stamped some here. So I have them all ready to go and a pocket in the back. Here's what I'm thinking for what I'm gonna do with these next. And the reason I didn't sew them together. So I'm gonna take them and put them in a bag to keep them safe. And I need to do some serious room cleaning. What I am thinking is if I'm gonna make gratitude journals and it's what, October 18th, I better get to it. I think I might have one, I can't remember what else I've made this year in my unfinished objects piles, especially because I put things, if they're fall or winter or Christmas, I put them in with those categories. So they're not in one pile here. It's time for me to pull out all of my gratitude journal supplies to work on these. I did do some fall cards, uh, I think a month or so ago. So you would think that I would be super organized and ready, but I'm not. So I'm thinking this weekend I will set up a tripod. Don't tell Mr. Crafting and Relaxing in the guest bedroom. Well, it's really the cat room now. It's Zelda's room. That's another story if you're not up to date on the kittens. And I'll set up a tripod and we'll pull out all my fall, winter, and Christmas and we'll separate it into the three piles and then we'll get started on decorating these fall journals because what I will do with them is I'll show them to my members first and then I'll show them on an open video to all subscribers and that way if anybody wants to buy one they can and get it before November. So you can do your November daily and gratitude journaling is like every day in November you know what are you grateful for what are you thankful for kind of just counting your blessings. So I like to do a lot of really wonderful sentiments in those and fall uh, there's some kitten action. If, the, if you can hear the weird noise, that's what it is. Zelda and Eliza between me. But I better get to it, right? And I think that video is going to be fun. So I thought first I'd do a sort of camera facing or, you know, at least with you seeing as I pull everything out. 
and then we'll have to start digging through things and that'll be a little different. Uh, look for that this weekend or soon. You might not see it on the weekend. It might not come out on the weekend. And then also smash that small pad. I think I'm as curious as you to see what's going to be on that. So be sure to check out Kathy on Instagram. Leave her some great comments. The links are down below. And you can see if Beth made a video this month too. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing. And I'm not sure what videos I have planned for this weekend, but I am not going to do a Zoom hangout with my members this weekend. We'll figure something out for something upcoming, but I need to get this room under control and make room to pull out all the holiday stuff. Bye-bye.